Hey friends! Make sure you give us a follow on social media. We have an Instagram and a Twitter. They are at TNA for today. The links for that will be in the description below. Last week was a vlog of me moving back to school. That's where I am now, so that's why my background looks a little different than normal. But yes, I'm back at school, and last week was a vlog of me kind of in my move-in weekend and packing and all that crazy stuff with moving. I hate moving. But if you haven't watched that already, it'll be in the information tab, and it'll also be in the link in the description. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my location and my schedule. So I am back home in North Carolina. I am approximately six and a half ish hours away from Andrea and my daily schedule right now is pretty slim to none. I don't really do much. I work a couple of days a week after school um, teaching color guard to some wonderful children at a local high school and then I do youth ministry with my local church plant. Um, but those are some part time things so my schedule is a lot more free flowing than Andrea's but my schedule is still can be jam-packed from day to day with just like normal responsibilities, cleaning the house, going out, helping people, um, going out with my friends. I have a choral society that I'm a part of here in our area, so um, that takes up a little bit of my time. And then, of course, I have a whole bunch of behind the scenes work that I have to do for both of my jobs. So it's a lot of work to do, um, but my schedule is obviously a lot more flexible than Andrea's. So yes, my background looks different. I'm not, at, me and Grazen used to film at my house, but that's not where I am right now. <laughs> I'm at my apartment at school. So um, I'm currently in my senior year at, what's it called? What's my school's name? Lee <laughs> University, not the university. Sometimes people are like, where do you go to school? And I say Lee University really fast. And they're like, the university? What is that? I'm like, LOL, Lee University, not the university. <laughs> it's funny. But um, yes, and so I'm in my senior year here, and so I'm in Tennessee, and this part of Tennessee is about six hours away from my hometown, which is where Grace Ann lives, and um, so that's about what this video will be about. But um, yeah, it's kind of hard being six hours away from my friends and family sometimes, but it's definitely worth this experience. This is totally the school for me. I would not want to be anywhere else. This is my school. I like, I love this place so much. This is definitely where God has called me to be for this season of my life. But um, I'm a music major and I don't know what you've heard about music majors, but I feel like everyone knows that music majors are very busy. I have rehearsal every day and um, sometimes multiple times a day I have rehearsals. Oh also I forgot to say that I'm sick so I probably sound like eight octaves lower than normal I feel like that's how I feel I sound but yeah sorry this isn't how I normally sound but the flu season, cold season, allergy season, I don't even have allergies I don't know why I'm sick but I'm sick sorry guys but um, yeah what was I saying? Uh, yeah so I'm super 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 busy like Sometimes I won't get home until 10 and it's a lot and I work here on campus and I'm taking, I think I'm taking like 18 credit hours, which I don't know if that means anything to you, but it's a lot. I mean, I've been taking about that much ever since I got into school, so it's normal for me, but compared to other majors, I'd say it's pretty busy. I have really, really long days. So it's kind of hard for me to communicate with people and if I do communicate with people I hope that they know that I'm very intentional about it because it takes a lot out of me to communicate with people like in the midst of my busy schedule. We did want to put a disclaimer on this video guys that these tips that we are getting ready to talk about will probably apply more to girls than guys because we feel like girls have more emotions than guys do especially within their friendships not saying that guys having emotions is bad we appreciate when guys can show their emotions but um these tips will probably apply more to girl and girl um long distance friendships so if you are a guy you might want to click away now unless you feel like hearing our tips um, but we have a couple of extra videos linked down below if you guys want to go watch those instead. So in this video we wanted to give five tips for people like us who are best friends but you're not necessarily living in, the, in a close proximity to each other because 
I mean, me and Grace Ann have lived like five, ten minutes away ever since we were five years old. And that's been great and all, but our lives are changing and we're growing up and that's just inevitable and we're not always going to live ten minutes down the road from each other. So this is for all you people out there who are in our situation. But um, yeah, the first tip is constant communication. Um, me and Grace Ann will text pretty much every day and we're not like needy friends or anything. We're not like, good morning, good night, how are you? Like, I don't know, we're not constantly communicating, but it's basically constant. We like know what's going on in our lives, which we feel like is really important because we don't want to be having big things happening to us and the other not knowing. But uh, I think it's important for you to share with your best friend the small things and the big things, but the small things are very important as well, so don't forget about that. Like, if I have a, an embarrassing moment at a Starbucks, like, I would want to tell her because that just strengthens your relationship, I think, whenever, relationship, we're not dating, but relationships are other than just dating, but our friendship, I'll say friendship, we're not dating. <laughs> but um, I think that the small talk and the little, nitty gritty parts about life will strengthen your friendship whenever you share them with the other person. So tip number two is going to be scheduled communication times. Guys, this one is so incredibly important. I cannot stress it enough. So Andrea and I, for example, have a set schedule one hour every single week on a specific day of the week for one hour a time. We have blocked off that hour to be our FaceTime date. Now, if you don't have FaceTime on your phones or Skype or WhatsApp or anything like that, you can use this to like designate a one hour phone call or a one hour texting window or um, like if you're I don't know, if you're within an hour of each other, you could schedule like 30 minutes of travel or so and then like 30 minutes of coffee once a week. But I wanted to really stress about like the importance of scheduling this and sticking to that. Because especially for those of you who are in college, I know you have a really busy schedule, but your schedule is the same week to week typically. And so if your schedule is the same weekly, then you can go ahead and say, okay, I know that every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm booked from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. There's nothing else I can do between those time periods except A, B, C, and D. But you know that maybe on Tuesday, Thursdays, you are only booked from seven to five. So maybe you can do like 30 minutes here or an hour there or whatever. So you guys like, you can talk with your best friend. And you can be like, okay, I know that we're long distance and I know that like I'm super busy with school, but from here to here, I can talk, are you free? And if they say no, then you can be like, okay, well I have this time too. And you guys can work together and schedule um, that communication for you guys. And that's really, really, really important. So number three kind of goes along with what I shared earlier in number one, but um, we think it's important that no matter what's going on in your life that you share the little moments and the big moments with your friend because if you have something big going on you wouldn't want your friend not to know you know what I mean like it doesn't matter if it's a little thing or a big thing you should still be in communication with your friend because they can't read your mind they don't know how you're doing like if you're struggling if you have a big exam or something coming up and you are stressing out about it you should talk to your friend about it because they are there for you they are your friend so you should it's like when I think about friendships I think about how you have to have communication to grow and to have a constant good friendship and relationship and I think about that also with our relationship with God we have to have communication with him like what would our relationship with God be if we never prayed to Him, if we never sang to Him, never worshipped Him, you know what I mean? Like, He would, yes, He would still be there and I would still be there, but it wouldn't be that constant communication connection that you get whenever you are in prayer and you are in constant communication with God. That's kind of the same way with friends. If you, some people can go months on months not talking to your friend, but 
we found that if we're in communication with each other, it strengthens our friendship. I mean, we want to know what's going on in our lives, so this is what works for us. Tip number four is prayer, y'all. Pray, 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 pray. I know we talk about prayer all the time on this channel because we all about some prayer, but it is super, super, super important that you pray for your friends. Guys, I cannot tell you how many times a week I text Andrea being like, pray for this, I'm struggling. Or she'll text me and say, hey, pray for this, have a moment. And like, prayer, something I want y'all to know is that like, prayer doesn't have to be just the big things. Prayer can be tiny, tiny things like, I'm, I'm having a hard time mentally this morning, pray for me. Or hey, I'm extra tired today, pray that I make it through. It doesn't have to be, oh my gosh, I'm dying, I'm going to the hospital, pray for me. It can be something super simple. And I can tell you from experience that that not only strengthens your friendship, but it strengthens your own personal walk with God and your friends because they know that you're constantly there to pray for them and to lift them up. And you know the same for them. And that means something and that will change your relationships so much. So number five is we think it's important to keep each other accountable and that goes with a lot of different things with life with school with your faith with your walk with Christ and your actions your Instagram posts all these things we think it's important to especially if you're far away from each other like it's easy to do it it's more it's easier to do it whenever you live 10 minutes down the road but it's also very important to do it whenever you're far away is to be an accountability partner for your friend and um, that's just, and that goes along with like being a prayer partner and stuff like that. It's so, so, so important to be invested in your friend's life, especially spiritually. So um, why would we not want to be our friend's accountability partner? We've talked about accountability before on this channel, but we just think it's so important when you have a friend to have a friend and accountability partner and a prayer partner all in one person because that's like God calls us to keep each other accountable so that doesn't stop whenever you live six hours away from each other guys thank you so 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 much for watching this video I know it's been a little shorter than our typical videos but we had such a fun time making it um, we hope that you guys enjoyed it make sure to like this video subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification thing where it's like looks like this and it goes like is beside the subscribe button and that'll make sure that you'll get notifications every single time that we post a video. Please put in the comments if you are friends with someone who has moved away or what are your situations and your circumstances with your friends and how do you overcome this long distance thing. Guys, make sure that you tune in next week, next Thursday at 2 p.m. We are going to be posting a video about being called to ministry. And in this video, we go into every single type of ministry that you can be called to, what they all mean, what the different types of callings are, and how you can accept your calling. And what does what does a calling even mean? What does it look like to be called, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Any questions you have surrounding that will be answered in that video. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss anything. Bye, Bye friends! friends.